Welcome in to game number two of our doubleheader here, Marshalls Baseball on the Rewind Sports Network. Coming to you live from Gatesfield in Kern, Utah. As we've got the Blue Crew and the Black Knights ready to set us into the sunset tonight on this Friday night. As to lead things off, here is Johnny Casale for the Black Knights as he watches a first pitch come in. The called ball, Johnny playing left field tonight, leading things off for the Black Knights. Starting pitcher for the Blue Crew will be Michael Caruso, young man out of Phoenix, Arizona. Let's count here, two and zero, oh, make it two and one on Casale. One inside. Can't move in here to three and one. The uh, announcement earlier, don't know if this is still true or not. Eight inning game here in the uh, final contest of the night. Is that one down the left field line and foul? And the leadoff man looking at a full count here for the Black Knights. As that one misses, and it's a leadoff walk. Bring up number eight, Hayden Hudman. Nope, that's the wrong name. Our apologies there. We were looking at the wrong roster. Number eight is Jackson Forbes. That's why you always keep a square book and pencil. For those wondering, count 0-1 here. The matter is number eight, Gunner Guile out of Tucson, Arizona. Hey, third time's a charm. Gunner Guile, our center fielder, is the young man at the plate. They changed numbers on us. So, so you want to be a broadcaster, do you? The throw over to first late. And just to reiterate the importance of pencils in a scoring book. So, Gunnar Gale, the center fielder. 1 1. I went inside, and Casale. We'll head to second base. Always makes you nervous when the uh, <clears throat> roster and actual don't align. So we're going to ask for patience tonight with this Black Knights roster. We'll do our best to keep you informed of the accurate names and players, etc. 2-1 pitch. That one fouled back. <clears throat> two two pitch here for Caruso. Good pitch called strike three, and Gale goes down looking one away. Utah. Attending Oregon State, the designated hitter, Zach Edwards. Zach Edwards. To the plate. DHing tonight for the Black Knights. As one away, fouls that back. <clears throat> Edwards, young man out of Riverton. Gonna head to Oregon State. Since they get ahead, playing Oregon State. <laughs> Will played Oregon State. You know, a lot of tenses in there you can use. 
called strike. The count now 0-2 on Zach Edwards. Big secondary lead and a swing through and strikeout for Edwards. Brings up the batter now. Number 18 from Phoenix, Arizona, attending Loyola Marymount, Willie. So Willie Corneo Farmer coming to the plate. Sale got on base. Was able to advance a pass ball. Hasn't been able to move since. Big swing there from Casale. Good start here for Caruso after giving up that leadoff walk. And one pitch, runner going to throw to third is wide. And Casale going to come home and score. It's one nothing, Knights. Good base running there by Casale. Got on via walk. A heady base running. Able to take second, steal third, and take home. one nothing. 1-1 one, one pitch here. That on the inside part. The count now one and two, so the Black Knights able to take advantage of the leadoff man aboard. <laughs> count evens up here, two, two. Two-two pitch from Caruso, two away. That one, a little high. The count moves to full. Cornejo Farmer battling back from what was 0-2. This one chopped to the third base coach. Half pitch again here. Outside. And it's a walk for Cornejo Farmer. From Westchester, California, attending UC Irvine. The right fielder, number 27. So there's the Hudson. right fielder, Hudson Comer. First pitch inside. <clears throat> Time here. A chance to get kind of resettled here after Caruso had back to back strikeouts, was in a favorable count against Cornell Farmer before conceding the walk. That pitch misses, the count 2 0. Oh. And Comer takes that one inside. Two and one. Count here on the right fielder. One misses. Three one pitch. This one 
popped into shallow right. That one may drop, and it does, but just foul. So another full count here. Back-to-back -back batters working to full counts for the Black Knights. I'll check on Cornejo Farmer. He's back in time. Three two pitch. Walked him. <clears throat> so now two aboard after back to back walks. It looks like we're going to have a. Oh. Thought we were going to have a pitching change, but they kind of waved it off. So just conversation here on the mound. Two on, two out here in the top of the first. Caruso staying on here as Zakiah Hawkins to the plate. That pitch outside, runners able to advance. Hawkins, a young man out of New Mexico. Like Lee at Utah. Looking at 1 0 here. Takes for a called strike. <laughs> 1 1 is fouled back by Hawkins. <laughs> Caruso, that pitch wide, count even up here 2-2. Insurance runs here in the first. In scoring position for the Black Knights, Corneo Farmer trying to distract Caruso with some shifty jumps at third. Missing again, the count full for the third straight batter. <clears throat> Payoff pitch, Caruso misses, and it's three straight walks. The bases are loaded here in the top of the first. And we'll have a change. And so now Jackson Forbes to the plate for the Knights. Bases loaded, two outs. First pitch strike. New pitcher for the Blue Crews, Mark Henderson. Forbes, young man out of Peoria, Arizona. Play at the University of Arizona. Fouls this one off. Quickly here, looking at 0-2 count. Anderson trying to get out of a dicey situation here. Top of the first. Bases loaded. Got him looking. Good pitch from Henderson. They leave three stranded, but the Black Knights able to take a 1-0 lead as we move now to the bottom of the first. Bottom of the first, and Ryan Castro will lead things off for the Blue Crew. Playing shortstop tonight. 
Takes a first pitch strike. Starting pitcher today for the Knights will be number 45, Evan Miranda. Back-to-back -back strikes thrown from Miranda, young man out of Fontana, California. Ooh. Just missing there. One, two pitch. This one hit to right. Caught one away. Nice job there by Comer. Able to read that quickly, easily, make the play. Staring into that sun as the shadows creeping on here. Really just sun left in right center field. Comer able to deal with that for the first out. So Brody Shear, the right fielder, up at the plate, taking a first pitch strike. Swung through that one. Quickly 0-2 on back-to-back -back batters here for Miranda. Go to pitch. Misses. Count evening up here. For Shear. Two two. Uh, that just fading foul for Brody. <laughs> Temperatures cooling down. Going to be downright comfortable weather tonight at Gates Field. Two two pitch, chopped foul. Two two pitch here for Brody. The count now worked to full. Nice job by Shear after falling down 0 2. And he'll take the walk. Boy, nice approach there at the plate. Has a one out walk. As now Jake Quinn, the DH, coming to the plate here for the Blue Crew. First pitch swinging. That finds its way in the left field on the little grounder. And there's two aboard here for the Blue Crew. From Monte Sereno, California, attending St. Mary's. The first baseman, number and now the first McCoa baseman, Makoa Sniffin, coming to the plate. That ball gets past. Runners will advance. And now on second and third. The 
pitch from Miranda. Missing again here, 2-0 oh the count now. This fouled off. Two one. Nope. Three one count. Sniffing. Big swing there. Count now full. Three, two pitch, walked him. The bases loaded here in the bottom of the first, just like they were in the top of the first. From Bakersfield, California. And it will be Ruben Rodriguez stepping up to the plate. Number seven, Ruben Rodriguez. One away. First pitch strike. Wait. That outside part of the plate has been a tough part to hit tonight. That one coming in low as well. This one sent foul. Heffler on deck for the Blue Crew. Rodriguez up the middle, snagged out at second to throw. In time, double play. And the Black Knights work out of it a double play as the Blue Crew leave them stranded as we move to the top of the second. Top of the second, it'll be Talon Kelly to lead things off here. For the Knights. Henderson back on the mound as a first pitch strike. Came on in relief, made quick work. In fact, I don't know that he's thrown a ball since he's come on. It was a strikeout on Forbes on three pitches. He's quickly ahead here, 0-2 on Kelly. This one's sent to right, and there's one away. Colton Hicks coming to the plate. The catcher, number 22, Colton Hicks. Young man going to head up, play some ball at CSI. Up in Twin Falls. First appearance tonight is Johnny Casale in the top of the order on deck here for the Black Knights.
That's the first ball thrown tonight by Henderson and his third batter. This one sent to center. And there's two away. With two outs, we're back to the top of the batting order. Casale, who walked and worked his way around the bases to come in and score. Back at the plate. With two away. That pitch outside again. Count now two and oh. That one fouled back. <laughs> Two one from Henderson. Sent right back the middle. Two out single there for Casale. Number eight, the center fielder. Well, bring the center field guy back up to the plate here. Guy struck out. In that first inning. Check on Casale. <laughs> that pitch high. They count 2-0 oh here. This one sent up the middle, and that caught on the little liner, and that'll do it. Bobber to the second, a left fielder, Justin Heffler, to lead things off for the Blue Crew. First pitch, swinging and missing there, 0-1. I say Heffler, my apologies. Miranda quickly ahead here, 0-2. This is kind of how he started that first inning. Uh, this one sent high, drifting towards foul territory. And a catch made by Cornejo Farmer, one away. So Ian Armstrong, the catcher, will come to the plate now for the Blue Crew. Armstrong, young man out of California, attending St. Mary's. Nice pitch there for first pitch strike. A one is fouled back. Quickly, O two here on Armstrong. Got him looking. Boy, Miranda with some heat here in this second inning. One, two, and that'll be Sean Asperger. The third baseman coming to the plate. 
for those keeping score at home, he's a gaucho. You see Santa Barbara fouling back that first pitch. I'm trying to remember if Heffler, I think he swung on an 0-2 on that foul pitch. This one sent down the left field line, and that is fair. Asperger rounding around first. The throw's in, but it's a stand-up double there for Asperger with two outs. Nice hit there from Sean. Couldn't tell if that one was going to stay in or not. It did. Great work, and now it's J.D. Dobis. Stepping up here. <laughs> Batting in the nine spot tonight with two away. That pitch just off the plate. Swung and missed there. Miranda with the 1-1. One -one. Fouled off. One two pitch here to Dobis. Foul that one back. Uh, this is the one where you clap. Thank you. Thank you. Two away. One, two, pitch, got him swinging. And that'll do it for the second. Miranda locking in in the second, take care of business. Top of the third, Edwards to lead it off for the Black Knights. Swinging a miss there. Struck out in the first inning. He's quickly looking at 0-2 here. Henderson just missing there. Boy, he's been good. Came in in the first. Has been very effective, efficient. Two two count here. And grounded right to second. One away. All right, we're in sync now. Brings up the first baseman, number 18, Willie Cornejo Farmer. Cornejo Farmer back up, drew the walk in the first. Was the man who started the three straight walks for this night's lineup, leading to the pitching change. So I guess you kind of blame him, right? Just kidding. Count now one and one. That one right up the middle. A solid contact there from Cornejo Farmer, a one out single. 
That's good contact from the first baseman. We'll bring up Hudson Comer. Swung through the first offering. Quickly 0-2 here. The throw over to first. O2 pitch, got him looking. Second strikeout tonight for Henderson. There's two away. Brings up number three, Zakaya Hawkins, the second baseman. And number Hawkins three. coming to the plate for the second time. A one here. <laughs> Count even. This one chopped to short. Handled, they'll take the out at second. And that'll do it. Bottom of the fourth, the bats of the Blue Crew coming back up. Third, for those who maybe heard my linguistic slip, not the bottom of the fourth, bottom of the third. That's why we've got a spotter up here. He keeps me honest on those things. Top of the order here for the Blue Crew. Castro, Shear, and Quinn do up. Look at a one-on-one -on -one here. Can't now one and two. Talk about Miranda. Got that early out on the line drive. Gave up a couple of walks, but closed out that first. Very efficient in the second. And here in an advantageous situation with the one-two pitch. Got him. Right on the outside part. There's one away. Right fielder. Third strikeout of the game for Miranda. Sheer back up here. Drew a walk in that first inning. He's swinging the first pitch here. Pulls that one foul. The 0-1, this one popped a shallow center. Under it, making the catch, two outs. With two outs, brings up number 19. And so Jake Quinn back Jake to the plate. Quinn. 
singled in that first inning. First pitch swing in there. Might be the shortest Jeopardy run ever right there. Called strike. 0-2. Oh, That's what they keep spotters for. We'll have that for you because Miranda here, oh, I thought I was going to get that one. This fouled away. Good battle here staying alive. My spotter keeping me alive with the what is the shortest Jeopardy ever. So well played. Well played over there. O2 here from Miranda. Looking for his second strikeout of this sec or of this third inning. Got it. Got him looking. A pair of strikeouts. It's one, two, three in the third. Forbes to lead things off here for the Knights in the fourth. Kelly, Hicks, do up. Coming a bit of a pitcher's battle here between Henderson and Miranda. Two strikeouts today for Henderson. That one taken for a called strike. One, one, Forbes. Now looking one, two here to lead off this top of the fourth. And the shortstop swinging through. He's down on strikes, one away. We'll take a quick time out. And we'll have a change here on the mound. Henderson was great. His night done in the books. Pitcher for the Blue Crew, Caden Clark. Young man out of Stansbury, Utah. Comes in to face Talon Kelly. A third baseman. First pitch, strike there from Clark. One. This one ripped down the left field line, but that is hit foul. That was back near the shed. It might have been over the shed. Oh, two pitch. Got him swinging. Two down. With two outs. Three, three strikeouts for Henderson today. Clark coming in, notching his first. As now he'll deal with the nine hole hitter, Colton Hicks, the catcher tonight. First pitch strike. Oh, one, this one, and a shallow right. Couldn't get there. It was a valiant charge being made by Shear. But a two-out single the there by Colton Hicks to get aboard. And it's to the top of the order. Johnny Casale coming to the plate here. Has reached twice, once on a walk, and once on a single. First pitch swinging. Here's
Here's a little one. Runner going. That one inside. That's a nice job. Just keep that here. Colton Hicks advances to second. Hicks taking second on the steal. Clark missing this one wide. It was an aggressive base running in the opening inning that played it the only run of the game here for the Knights. It was this young man, Casale, who finished it off. Looking here at 2 1. That one, a called strike. Count evens up here. Two two pitch. And this one fouled off. Two two again here from Clark. Missed wide the count now full. Full count to the better. Kyle on deck for the Knights. Got him swinging. Two strikeouts in the inning for Clark, all three coming via strikeout as the Blue Crew bats coming back. Bottom of the fourth. Sniffing to lead things off, showing Bunt there will take the strike. Rodriguez and Heffler both do up here for the Blue Crew. I don't know if you caught that in the background, but that was about as well-timed as a sneeze as you could ever have. A lot of people clap in that situation. No. We sneeze. Three pitches and three strikes for Miranda. One down. Brings up the batter now, number seven, the second baseman. Ruben Rod And for those around me, that was a real sneeze, too. That was not manufactured. That was. Here's Rodriguez. You'll never think of that tune the same. Dun, 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 dun. Achoo. Dun, dun. Yeah. 1 0. Now 2 0. That one, chop just foul. Foul ball. Fouled off again. <laughs> two two pitch. Takes it. Strike three, two away. Back to back strikeouts for Miranda. 
will bring up the left fielder, Justin Heffler. Six strikeouts for Miranda tonight. Thought about it, able to resist. That's one fouled off. <laughs> Count even here. Chance for Miranda here to take care of business in the fourth. Two strikeouts in the second, two in the third. And in the fourth, he strikes out the side with three of them. Three up, three down, all on K's. Miranda feeling it. We're just moving right along here. Top of the fifth inning. Clark back to the mound here. Guile to start things off. Little chopper here to second, wait for that extra bounce, and time went away. Next up, the designated hitter. We'll bring the DH, Zach Edwards, back up to the plate. You know, every time I think of DH, I think of that great Jim Carrey classic fun with Dick and Jane. Dick Harper, and when he takes the job, it's, you're gonna be my DH. Here is the DH taking a first pitch strike. Struck out, grounded out. And his two appearances tonight. Ooh. I thought that looked like a pretty good pitch. Of course, we're a little offset up here. That was low. So, yeah, we don't have a good judgment on height. One one, this one up the middle over the head of the shortstop, and it's a one out single. Edwards with the single brings up Willie. Cornejo Apologies, Parker. we've got a little keyboard glitch going on here. We'll get that taken care of for you. This is what happens when you have uh, people, you know, trying to do manual scoreboard and, and just, woo. All right, there we go, one nothing. As Corneo Farmer back up to the plate here. <laughs> that one, a called strike. You know, the interesting thing, we talk about kind of the pace of this game early on. There's been base runners in every innings for the Knights. That continues here in the top of the fifth. We'll check over to first. Edwards back in time. I've said that a couple times, and I feel like that should be a song, right? Back in time. It just has that feel to it, doesn't it? This one hit to the gap in left center. Back to the wall, boy, on his horse. It's Edwards coming around third, and it is a RBI double for Cornejo Farmer as the Black Knights push this to a 2-0 lead. Boy, what a hit there by Cornejo Farmer. A walk, a single, now a double. Our next batter is right fielder, number 27, Hudson Comer. We'll bring up Comer. here with one away. Comer, a walk, and a strikeout tonight. Has a runner in scoring position, first pitch swinging through.
quickly looking at an 0-2 count here. If you're Clark, you'd love to get out of this inning. You know, at some point, the Knights are going to bring on some pitching relief. You don't want to let this get too far out away from you. Two pitch. Got him looking. Two away. Second baseman, number three. So Hawkins back up to the plate here. Coneo Farmer. On second. We've seen Corneo Farmer be very aggressive. Remember, he got to third in that first inning and Kind of talked about the uh, distracting jumps, trying to get Caruso kind of off his game. And he's taking big leads here as he can from second. As Hawkins fouling that one back. This one fouled off again. And Clark a strike away from getting out of this fifth inning. A one two from Clark. Got him right on the outside part of the plate. As Clark will shut it down with the strikeout. Bottom of the fifth when we come back. New pitcher for the Knights. We alluded to it in the top of the fifth. You knew at some point that bullpen going to come on. Want to keep this within striking distance. Jake Hervitt, the new pitcher, a left-hander for the Black Knights. First pitch swing, and this one's sent to right. Didn't have to move much, one away. Brings up now the third baseman. Sean 14, Asperger coming Sean to the plate Asperger. for the second time tonight. Hit the double. In fact, one of only two hits tonight for the Blue Crew. The other one coming from Jake Quinn back in the first. That pitch just missing. Count evens up here. And Dobis hitting in the ninth spot on deck for the Blue Crew here in the bottom of the fifth. Did confirm for those interested, this is an eight inning contest. Bottom of the fifth here, this game Moving along has got him swinging. There's two away, and not a lot of at bats for this blue crew. Is Dobis in the ninth spot? This is his second plate appearance in the bottom of the fifth. Jonathan Dobis, center fielder, number 26. In fact, since they had the bases loaded in the first, only one 
player has reached base for the Blue Crew, and that was Asperger, who had just struck out. A couple pitches on each side of the plate there. The count here, 2-0. and oh. Different story for the offense of the Knights, who have left runners stranded in every inning. Uh, count here, three and zero, oh, and a chance for this Blue Crew to get a man aboard. Had the two walks in the first with a single, and the double in the second. No walks ushered, no hits given up since that point. And that is a four-pitch walk given to Dobis. So. Dovis will trot down, and we're to the top of the order. Here with the shortstop, Ryan Castro. Lined out, struck out. Dovis on first, first pitch, a called strike there on Castro. That one inside got away. Oh, is it hit him? My bad. So Dobas trots to second, Shear. Castro on first, and the right fielder, Brody Shear, to the plate. A couple of base runners here with two out for the Blue Crew. Called strike there. That throw to second coming off the helmet there of Dobis and the runners will each advance. So now to second and third. Well, that's a Tough one. I didn't feel like there was a great opportunity there. And the base runner retreating back. You see the ricochet go off, and now you're a outfield hit away from potentially tying this game up here in this fifth inning. That in on sheer. That one off the mound, gonna be a tricky play. The throw's gonna be late, and the runner will score. So an RBI single there by Shear. Brings in Dobis. And the Blue Crew on the board. As now the DH, Jake Quinn, coming to the plate here. on the corners. That one low.
There's a good pitch. A 1-1 here from Hervit. Runner going. The throw to second cut off there by Hervit. So Shear at second, Castro at third. 2-1 pitch. In there for a called strike. Two two pitch here on Quinn. Fouls it back. Hervit with the two two. Chopper. That, that's ruled fair. Boy, the home plate umpire was calling that fair the whole time. Corneo Farmer able to realize that, touch the bag, and that will do it. But the Blue Crew scoring, it's 2-1 as we move to the sixth. Top of the sixth, Alex Vernon coming to the plate. Young man out of Riverton, Utah. First pitch called strike. Meanwhile, new pitcher for the Blue Crew, Dallin Weatherly, young man out of the Gem State. One on one. Oh, boy. That one, a ringer, boy. Good to see he's okay. <clears throat> Breaks up number 28 now. Making sure he's okay. The third baseman. You hear sometimes Kelly. that ball hit off the helmet. Kelly. It's not as loud as that one was. That one was a loud strike, but Vernon appearing to be okay. Well, Take his place at first, stay on here. I saw a smile, maybe a little laugh down there, so good to see that he's okay. Leadoff man aboard is Talon Kelly. Now to the plate. They might actually, yeah, they're gonna come out and just make certain he's good to go at first. That might pinch run for him as well. And that'll be the case. It's just amazing. You know, you think about those helmets, you see a nice gesture there by Weatherly. Hey, my bad, apologies. But uh, it's amazing a pitch can, can come in like that and uh, player doesn't go to the ground, They're able to kind of shake things off. Certainly again, want to make certain he's okay and they'll give an evaluation there, but uh, Pretty remarkable. Can take that and so pinch runner in at first, and it's Kelly taking a first pitch called strike there.
one missing high. Two one count here for Kelly. This one into foul territory and caught for the first out. Colton Hicks, the catcher, coming to the plate for the Black Knights. Hicks swinging that first pitch. This fouled off and out of play. Runner going to go. I think they're going to pull him back here. I think we had a late time take in there. <laughs> Couldn't tell who took it. Hicks kind of came out of that box very quickly. I wondering if he called that timeout. I think that appears to be the case. <laughs> the Black Knights have had... Jumpy runners, again, trying to distract pitchers. That's a big swing and a miss there. And the pinch runner in this case is kind of playing that mind game a little bit with Weatherly. One, two, foul back. Top of the order on deck. <laughs> Runner goes. This pitch outside, but no play can be made. Two two count here on Hicks. Got him swinging. Two away. Casale coming to the plate third time today. Excuse me, fourth time today. First pitch. High on Casale. <clears throat> the count here two and zero. Oh. Right on the inside port. Two away, 2-1 two pitch here from Weatherly. <laughs> that one got away. Aggressive base running. 
Played the first run of the game for the Knights. And right now it's got an insurance run 90 feet away. On a 3-1 count with two outs here in the top of the sixth. And it is a walk. Runners on the corners. As Black Knights will bring up a new hitter. Jake Lavin coming to the plate for the first time. And we'll have a visit coming out to the mound. My apologies, it's Aaron Lewis at the plate here for the Black Knights. And that first pitch hit him. Oof. That one stings. That ankle bone, not as soft as you think it is. Now the designated hitter, we got this one right. Number 34 is Zach Edwards. And so the base is now loaded for the DH, Zach Edwards. We alluded to the movie line, DH. The Black Knights need their DH to hit one out of the park here, get a little insurance in a 2-1 contest, top of the sixth. As Boy Lewis still trying to shake that off. Just wide of first base. That one's gonna leave a mark. But he'll stay in, be okay here. A couple hit batters in this inning have allowed it to extend here for this night's offense. And now Edwards with a chance to make him pay. Base is loaded. Second time they've been loaded tonight for the Knights. They weren't able to play any back in the first in this situation. See if they can change that in the sixth. Weatherly, the pitch, and it's a called strike right on the inside part of the plate. Edwards missing that one, 0-2 oh, count. And Weatherly can make all this go away with a good pitch right here. Two away, top of the sixth, 0-2 oh, pitch. No. Edwards one for three tonight. Got him swinging and that We'll take care of the six. Three stranded for the Black Knights. The score remains 2-1. Bottom of the sixth, Jalen Seward making his first appearance today, young man out of Albuquerque. You think he ever took that left? First pitch called strike. Bugs Bunny, classic. I wonder if that's still a running joke with some of the remakes they've done there. I hope so, because it's it's timeless. And quickly 0-2 here, and Blue Crew going to take a chance here to do a little coaching up of Seward. Mentioned his first appearance today. Well, Grace and Debo on deck for the Blue Crew. It'll be his first appearance. O2 pitch from Hervet, got him looking. Three he pitches, and Seward goes down on strikes. Next up, from Salt Lake City, Utah, number six, Grayson Debo. Debo to the plate. Hervet, my goodness. What a start to this sixth inning. Fourth straight strike. From, thrown from the young man out of Tuila. This one lifted to right. Near the track, makes the catch two away. Brings up now the left fielder, 
Heffler back to the plate. Justin Heffler. 0 for 2 today. Left fielder. Irvin trying to make quick work here of the sixth inning. This one hit to deep left. This one going back near the track, the wall, and caught. Needed five more feet. It's one, two, three as we move to the seventh. Cornejo Farmer to start it off here in the top of the seventh. A single, a double tonight. Has reached base in all three appearances. As his first swing here winds up foul. Weatherly back to the mound here for the Blue Crew in this seventh inning. That one taken high. Two and count. Thought about it, resisted. It moves to three and one. I want to come in just a touch high. And Cornejo rips a grounder to short. And there's one away. Brings up now from Pine Castro with a nice Utah. play. Able to cleanly gather that. Throw him out Easton one away. Jones. Easton Jones coming to the plate for the Black Knights. And according to his walk of music, he's got the right stuff. And he just had a change there. Shout out from the dugout. It's actually Lavin, Jake Lavin, coming to the plate. We had missed that one earlier. We're on it here thanks to the call out from the third base coach. <clears throat> As a visit here at the mound, we'll have a pitching change for the Blue Crew. All right, we got that all settled out. We've got a pitching change. We've got a batting change. It's Jake Lavin to the plate for the first, well, his first appearance tonight with one away. And he'll take a first pitch called strike. Meanwhile, the new pitcher for the Blue Crew will be Heber Jensen, young man out of Filer, Idaho. And... Uh, I know Filer because I grew up in the great Gem State. Not a lot of people do, just outside of the Twin Falls area. And the Filer product, three pitches delivering the K for this Blue Crew. Now back Two out. For the Black Knights, number three, Zahaya Hopkins. So Hawkins back to the plate for the Black Knights. Chopper to second. The throw going to be late. That took kind of an awkward bounce. It really disrupted the timing there. And Hawkins able to reach on the infield single. Now batting number 17 from Lehigh, Utah. It's hitting slick, Jake Olson. And here's Jake Olson now. He had come on to run for Vernon after he took that one to the helmet. So Olson with his first plate appearance now with two out. Throw over to first, and Hawkins was aware, knew that one was coming. Yeah. 
Jensen missing. I've said Jensen, my apologies, it's Jenkins, Heber Jenkins. And this one ripped into left, cut out of the air and that'll do it. Jenkins takes care of the seventh with the Blue Crew offense ready to come back up. Armstrong, Asperger, and Dobus do up. Bottom of the order for the Blue Crew and a first pitch strike thrown there by Hervit. Armstrong rips one to second, one away. Brings up number 14. Asperger coming to the plate. One of just three hits in the game for the Blue Crew from this young man, had the double. Swinging, fouling that one off, one oh, for a first strike. Yeah, outside part, 0-2 here. One, two here on the third baseman. Asperger fouling this one back. One, two, pitch. Ooh, just missed that one. Two, two, pitch. Count now moves to full. Three, two pitch inside and it's a one out walk. Here comes Dobus, the center fielder. First pitch fouled back again, boy, that one caught the catcher. Henry McDonald has come in to catch as Hicks able to walk off, but those ones are not fun. The 0-1 here from Hervit. Runner goes out outside, swing and a miss, the throw. A nice job holding that there by Hawkins. The count here now 0-2. Top of the order on deck in Castro. Double play ball, not in effect here unless you get a catching situation. O2 pitch, swung through. Back to the top of the mound. He's fouled back Blue to the catcher number for out number two. Shortstop, Ryan Castro. Castro back up, hit by a pitch in the fifth. And looks like we'll have a pitching change here with two outs in the seventh. New pitcher to come on here for the Black Knights. 
So I go from 0 for like 13 to I'm just an 0 for no pitching change, just a visit. Saw action in the bullpen, thought we were going to see a change there, but uh, maybe just an opportunity there to sync with McDonald and company. Again, new catcher having to come in at that for that uh, last batter. And with two outs here, Hervitt staying on in the bottom of the seventh. And it's Castro to the plate. First pitch strike on the outside part there from Hervit. He's been good today. Had a couple early, but made some quick work to get out of the fifth and then in the sixth and now seventh. Well, one coming in high. Enticing, but misses. Two, one, yes, sir. Two two pitch. Just fouled back. We missed that. Apologies, two outs here. Two two pitch. the runner to advance to third. Asperger 90 feet away with that tying run. Shear on deck for the Blue Crew. Off pitch, Hervit outside and runners on the corners. I'm actually going to have a change here. It will not be Sheer coming up. As it will be number four, Christian Gross from Las Vegas coming to the plate for the first time Nevada tonight. Is number four from Las Vegas, Nevada, attending Grand Canyon, Christian Gross. Big moment here for Gross. Bottom of the seventh, first pitch strike. There is action in that Black Knight bullpen. Hervit would love to clean up the seventh here. Just the second pitcher the Knights have used tonight. That one fouled back, and the count now quickly 0-2. Oh, two pitch. Runner goes. This one ripped to left. 
And that will bring in the tying run. Castro into third. Gross with the RBI single has tied it up. Brings up the designated hitter now, number 19, Jake. And now Jake Quinn, the DH with a chance to give the Blue Crew the lead here in the bottom of the seventh. Quinn, one for three today. Leading run 90 feet away. Just outside. 2 and 0 the count. pitch hit to first and that was ruled just foul well Carnejo tried to keep that just inches he even gave indication there to the first base coach man that was that was close Quinn looking at 2 1 pitch inside a count three and one. The 3 1 from Herbert. This one fouled. Out of play. Apparently, some insurance company is going to get some bad news tonight. Full count. And they are loaded. Two outs, bases full, and Jalen Seward, who struck out in his first plate appearance, will step up here for the Blue Crew with a chance to give him a lead. And looks like we'll have a, you know what? I'm not even gonna say it. We got a visit and we'll determine what happens in just a moment. Base is loaded. Bottom of the seventh, Blue Crew looking for the lead. Jalen Seward to the plate, two away. This is that first offering 0-1. The new pitcher for the Black Knights, Keaton Robinette, and I was really excited. I knew where Filer was. I got some bad news for my Spud brothers. I have no idea where Athlon, Idaho is. I had to look it up, up in the panhandle. No one pitch, 0-2 oh, count from the young man, Caden Robinette. <laughs> Trying to get out of this bases loaded jam in the seventh. Robinette, the pitch. That one was low, yep. 
It's only taken him eight games, but Mike. Spy over here, he's starting to see it. Here's the one, two. Got him. And that will do it for the seventh. We head to the eighth and final inning, tied up at two. Top of the eighth, last at-bats for the Knights. They've led through the duration. It's the first time this game has been tied since it started off, and it's Talon and Kelly to lead off this eighth inning. Kelly McDonald and Casell do up. That evens it up. The Black Knights have had base runners in every inning tonight. That one swung through. Look out here, one and two. That one hit sharply to short, one away. So McDonald, who had come on to catch, they're going to hit for him here, given that it's the, okay, the final at bat. Jackson Hodgkiss, the batter now, number 44. And it will be Jackson Hodgkiss out of Washington. Future. Sorry, playing collegiate ball at UW. To the plate for the first time and takes a called strike. No one missing. One one. This one lifted foul, giving chase, but there won't be enough room to get there. One, two, grounded to third, two away. The batter, the left fielder, so number nine. Top of the order, Casale coming up. Has walked twice, singled as well. Jensen's first offering. It'll be middle of the lineup for the Blue Crew in the eighth. Debo, Heffler, Armstrong, do up.
Aaron Lewis on deck for the Knights if Casale can get on board. Takes a strike. Count evens up here. Two two pitch. Chops foul. A pitch from Jensen. Got him swinging. We'll head to the bottom of the eighth. A chance for the Blue Crew to walk it off. Last bats. Debo to start it off. First pitch strike there from Robinette. Flat out to right in the sixth. His other plate appearance, and now quickly looking at 0-2 here. Debo down on strikes, one away. Next up, the left fielder, number three. Here's Hepfler. <laughs> Yet to reach base tonight. Mm. They'll check. Yeah, he went. I thought he went from our position. The umpire there looking for help from my judge down the first baseline. I thought a good call there. 0-1. Oh, Robinette delivery going outside and getting him to chase. Now looking 0-2 here. Robinette effective. That one just fouled back by Heffler. Nice job staying alive here. Robinette has had a couple that have been off the plate, but they've been enticing. He's got another 0-2 pitch here. Struck him out, two down. And so Ian Armstrong, the catcher, coming to the plate. Brings up the batter, the catcher. Number five, Ian Armstrong. The last out at the plate here for the Blue Crew as they try to walk this off. This one sent to right center. Center fielder calling for it, making the green. No, he dropped it. That's why you always run it out. It's a two out. Hit to right that uh, that'll be scored an error. We'll end up with Armstrong being in scoring position as now Sean Asperger will come to the plate with a chance to finish this off. Oh, 
Asperger walked in the seventh. Came around to tie it up. Dobis on deck. And now pitcher catcher here want to get on the same page. The batter is the third baseman, number 14, Sean Asperger. And they might make a change here on the base path. Yes, they will. So Armstrong will come off. And at second, I think it was number eight, Barclay Ovale. Yep, it is Ovale, my apologies. Has come in to run. Asperger. Robinette gained the first two outs early via strikeout, trying to finish this one off. And he was able to hold that back. That pitch awfully close. One oh, foul back. <laughs> Ovalia oh, second. One one, that one missed. He'll advance to third. And the winning run, 90 feet away. And a visit here at the mound. Ovalley on third. Asperger. And it's a 3-1 count. The nine spot on deck. That was Dobis. It looks like they would pinch hit should it come to that. Billy Bird in the on deck circle. The 3-1. Called strike two. That one right on the top side of that strike zone. Count full. Two out, three two pitch. Jammed to second, and this will end in a 2-2 tie. Boy, the Blue Crew had an opportunity. A broken bat hit, but uh, the Black Knights able to take care of. And two games today, both ending in ties, 6-6 and 2-2 here at Gatesville. Thank you for joining us for our doubleheader here of Marshalls Baseball. Coming to you live from Kearns on the Rewind Sports Network.